Today I'm going to tell you why I think Apple Notes is a great free tool for simple and effective note taking. Hiya and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about making that switch from paper to digital note taking on your iPad. A lot of people ask which note taking app is best. Well, I just wanted to show you some of the great features in Apple Notes before you decide to invest in other paid apps. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below if you enjoy videos about realistic productivity and planning. Yes, this video is about note taking on your iPad, but it's very useful to make sure that you know how to sync your notes across your different devices. Go into your iCloud settings and just make sure that for the Notes app, you have the toggle on for Sync This iPad. I recommend that you go into the control center and make sure that Notes is enabled. This is just a really useful tool to be able to access in your control center for when you want to make a note. The next thing which is great is if you can go into split view and open up two notes at the same time. Just make sure that in your multitasking and gestures settings you have this enabled. From here you can then view two notes at the same time. It's also possible to open up a note in a new window by holding down on it and then selecting open in a new window. This is great for general multitasking. You can also click on the three dots at the top and you'll see at the bottom there's an option to add a new note. And when you have multiple notes open, you can then switch between the two. Apple Notes is great if you personally enjoy taking quick notes when you're in other apps. So when you're in Safari, for example, you have the option to create a quick note. And then you'll find when you slide across the quick note, you then have a link to this web page. If you can't see the add to quick note option, go down to your edit actions. And then from here, you can make sure you enable that option for Quick Notes. Now, when we go to our Quick Notes, you can see that this note I've created has a link which will directly take me back to that web page. If I want to highlight a specific bit of text on the website, I can also create a Quick Note. And then this text will appear as a link in my note and it will also remain highlighted on that web page. You can also take a quick note by tapping on the lock screen of your iPad. And from here, you can either use Scribble, as you see here, or you can use any of the other markup tools and then write a handwritten note. In the Apple Notes app, you have the option of two different views for viewing your notes. This is the gallery view, where you then have the option to zoom in and out of this view. And this is great if you're someone who prefers the visual aspect of looking at your notes, the overview of your notes. You also can see that when you're in the gallery view, your folders look better. You can then click into your folders and it has a great overview of your notes. When you slide to the left, you have the option to share a note, move a note to a different folder or delete it. And when you swipe in the other direction, you have the option to pin it. When you pin a note, it will move to the top of the list. It's great to have folders and subfolders for all your notes. If you want to add a new folder, you're gonna click on the bottom left-hand side and add a new folder. You also have the option to create these smart folders, which then have filters for filtering the view of the different notes you see. So here I'm showing an example of different tags that can be applied to the smart folder. What's great about this app is that you can scan both text and you can also scan images. So you can scan different pages from a book, 
as I'm showing you here and then you have the option to insert it into a note. You can also choose to scan text when you'll see this window appears at the bottom of your iPad and from here you can hover over whatever text you'd like to copy and it will copy it into your note. If I go ahead and show you again how you can scan a page from a book and then convert it into a PDF, you then have the option of four different settings for your PDF and you can choose the one which best suits the document that you're scanning. What's also great is that now you've got this PDF scan from a book, you can go ahead and use the markup tools and you can actually highlight it. You can also take a screenshot by swiping from the bottom left corner and then you can choose to have a PDF created from that screenshot or as a whole PDF based on a web page. Then you can go into this document and scroll through the entire PDF within your notes. You can also go into the Maps app for example and you can share the particular map to a note and from here you can create a new note wherever you want to save it in a particular folder and then when we go to that note you'll see that you have that embed from the map. You can view it as a large or a small picture. If I go ahead and add another image I'm going to show you how you can also annotate images. So obviously in this case this is for demonstration but it's also great for lecture material. And then you can go ahead and draw whatever you want on this image. And what's really useful is to make sure in your settings for notes that you have your photos automatically added from your notes to your photo album. One of the ways in which I use the notes app is by creating short journal entries, very basic. And how I've done this is that I have created a shortcut, which I'll show you now. And I have a page created every day in this particular folder. And I then have it automated to run at a certain time every day so that those pages are automatically added to my notes. When you have a ton of notes, it's really useful to be able to search within them for particular parameters. You also have the option to search within a specific note. If you've got a really long note that you want to replace particular words, for example, I'm showing you how to do that here. Or if you just want to generally search a document for specific terms. And when I'm in Spotlight, I also have the option to search for notes and you can also search for handwritten notes so that's very useful. Using the shortcut command and space bar will bring up the spotlight search bar. Now I just want to show you how you can also add image headings for your notes. When it comes to handwriting capabilities of the app you have different types of paper that you can set for yourself so you can have lines or grid paper and this makes writing a lot easier. You also have a range of different tools that you can use. So the app is pretty versatile when it comes to what you can draw within it and the different tools you have access to. Just remember that when you're using the app, when you draw something and then you go back into typing mode, it does separate it so you can't integrate the two. You can also move the drawn objects or the text around and you'll see this particular icon appears showing you the different blocks. I can also draw different shapes and hold down to snap. The scribble tool which is the tool with the A is very useful and you also have the option to use all different colors or whatever notes you're taking. For a lot of the tools you have different thicknesses and you can also change the opacity so it's very versatile in that regard. You can highlight handwritten text but where it does lack is that you can't highlight text you've already typed up and this is where I do believe that GoodNotes is the better 
app if you prefer to highlight your text without having these different blocks of drawn objects and text. There's a lasso tool that you can use in Apple Notes, but it's not as versatile as the lasso in GoodNotes where you can resize objects. You can also use the lasso in the Apple Notes to straighten text. So that is one feature that might be useful if you do struggle with writing in straight lines. You also have access to a calligraphy brush, which is very useful. And I personally use it when I'm creating my own stickers for my good notes. So there is definitely a crossover and integration of using the Apple Notes features with other note-taking apps. You can also go ahead and use a watercolor tool which once again I use for creating stickers for my GoodNotes planner. You also have these great options for adding certain shapes or stickers. As you see here, they're stickers I've created, or you can also add emojis to your Apple Notes, which is, which is a cool feature. You also have the option to add a signature, which is great if you're using app for adding a signature to a PDF document, for example. So the workaround that I was referencing is that you have the option to add text when you're in this markup mode. You have access to a wider range of formatting, so different fonts and you can change the colors. You can also align it in different ways. And I found if you use this text, you can then go ahead and highlight it so here I'm just showing how I've pasted a paragraph using this text tool and then I'm able to highlight it now. You also have the option to add a checklist to your notes and it is pretty cool if you want to include a to-do list or a checklist within a note. If you want to move the certain checklist or indent it to the left or the right you can actually you can use your finger or stylus and move it across as you want to when it comes to sorting your checklist you can go into the settings for notes and you can edit the sorting options there or if you're in the notes app you can also go and make sure that you have the correct sort option selected for your notes you also have the option to search specifically for notes that have checklists in them. Another great feature within the Apple Notes is the option to translate some text. So you highlight text and then you have the option to translate it. Le chien est heureux. And from here you can actually then copy that translation and paste it into your note. So it's great for language learning. There are different ways in which you can add links to your notes. So as I have here, you can have like a table of contents where you have certain notes linked to this page. I'm just gonna remove the link and show you how you can add a new link. So you select the text and then the option to add a link appears. And from here, you can type in whatever page you want it to be linked to. And now you'll see how the text changes and when you click on it, it will take you directly to that page. I also have created these embedded links within a itinerary, for example. So what you can do to create your own is to actually go ahead and click this icon twice and then it will bring up the recent notes you've created and then you can just go specify which one you want to link it to. And there you go. You can also embed YouTube videos by going and sharing them to notes, creating a new note in a particular folder. And then when we go to that note, you can actually play the YouTube video within the note. To make the video bigger, you can actually click on it and it will expand to full size screen. If you want to create a table like this, it's very easy to do. So we go into a new note and add a table and you can easily add different items or in this case I've done items and you can click on the next button to move to the next cell. To start another line of text in the cell you're just going to do hold the shift key and then tap on next. 
and you'll see that you then have another line. You can select a row and you can add a row. You can then go ahead and format the cells. You have the option to also go and add new columns. If you hold down and drag a column or a row, you can also change the order in which it appears. If you have a lot of columns and it doesn't fit in the page, then a scrollable thing will appear. When you're in the Reminders app, you can drag a reminder from your notes directly into the Reminders app and you'll then see a note icon appear next to it, which you can then click and it will take you directly to that note. You also have the option to select text within a note and then share it directly to the Reminders app. You then have the option to set certain parameters. The note is then linkable. It's got a backlink to that note. What's great about this app is that you can also lock your notes by clicking on the lock icon and then it can be unlocked using your passcode or face ID. When it comes to formatting your notes, you have a lot of options, titles, headings, subheadings, so you can really structure your notes quite well. Here are some shortcut keys worth noting for quick formatting within your notes. You can easily share a note by going into the collaboration option of share and from here you can choose the different permissions for that note that you're sharing. Some other features worth noting is that when you type a specific date you have the option to add it to a calendar or create an event. You can also link it to a location. You can select text within an image as well as saving your notes to your files on your iPad or exporting. You'll notice that there are a few methods doing this. So what I would suggest you do is you go into the markup for that particular note and then you save it to the files from there. That way the formatting is retained for your note. Essentially you then have a PDF of your note. Another shortcut that you can use that's already on your iPad is called Remember This. And essentially it's a shortcut where you can create a note for yourself and you can attach an image to it. And then when you go into your notes, you'll see that it's got a date and a time and it's got the note you've created. If you use the shortcut several times in the same day, it will just list all your notes one underneath each other with the different time. It is a shortcut that's worth using if you do find yourself forgetting things and it just makes taking notes a lot easier. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and you can drop any of your further questions in the comments below if you have any. Don't forget to subscribe, like and stay tuned for more productivity videos. Okay, bye!